good idea. And uh, <laughs> I know, yeah, always record because you'll get in trouble if you don't. And look, I know you got like your little list of questions from yeah. corporate, uh, but look, we're, we're three days away, which is exciting. I'm going to pee my pants excited. That's a hashtag. And, uh, you know, so I, I just want to make sure like the whole point is I want to go, if there's any questions that your team have, they're just burning a hole in their brain. That's, I really want to go after that. Uh, and, and make sure we're, we go, you know, everyone knows about the coach test group and why they should be in all that good stuff. So we, we don't, we can deviate okay, I like good. from scripts. It's fun. Improv is fun. So, but it's your call. You tell me. You okay. Want. Yeah. No, that's perfect because I do have the, the questions printed out, but then I went through and actually crossed out a bunch of them <laughs> kind yeah. of in our, kind of put in our own. So I'll start off by just asking guys, do you have any like questions that you absolutely want to know right now before I put them in the chat box, man? Yeah, put them in the chat well, and we'll answer them. I am here for you. But I will say some of the answers might be, well, you need to get in the coach test group because I've already answered it there. Just so you know, I might say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Kathy, tell me, babe, like, is everybody excited about Live For? Like, everybody understands it? They, like, they're not freaked out about it? Like, we are pumped. Everybody on the team is pumped. I'm fired up. My husband's doing it with me too. And everybody that I've been talking to is just really, really fired up to start it. And we're ready to go for Monday. And we can't wait. And it's yeah. just going to be awesome. Everybody understands that you're not going to lose all your gains and your butt's not going to shrink. Like everybody understands that? Okay, just make sure. It was great. <laughs> I have a question here. Is it okay to do while preggers? Yes, uh, it totally is. Uh, look, as long as you have your doctor's clearance and uh, you know how to modify as you progress uh, through your trimesters, because obviously you won't be able to like, lay flat on your back second, third trimester. So, um, and then just listen to your body as you go, because you are housing another individual. So that's kind of important first, is to make sure that you and, and that individual are healthy. Uh, but yeah, you totally can continue to move and uh, keep exercising. Actually, a lot of studies show you should. It'll help. Yeah, definitely. I was actually talking to somebody the other day who just found out that they were pregnant, and I thought it was pretty ironic. She said, oh, well, I'm actually putting you know my health and fitness on the back burner now, now that I found out I'm pregnant. I'm like, oh, my God, that's like oh, the worst uh, thing to do. Did, did you go, pop, pop, pop? Like, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? It's horrible. <laughs> I know. It's uh, well, like I just and I even uh, I reposted uh, on my Instagram stories today. I reposted another girl, uh, a, a, a girl, and from her stories, she's like eight and a half months pregnant, and she's doing jump uh, squat jacks, like modified, but killing it. Wow. That's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And you yeah. probably you bounce right back too more quickly. I would think. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have a lot of experience in that, but um, I would think so. I, I I would think that it can't hurt, right? <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So tell us just a little bit here. Like, what do you think makes lift Four so unique versus any of the other programs that Beachbody has ever launched? In one word, flexible, mm -hmm. flexibility. I think, um, look, I've been a part of those programs as well, by the way. So, you know, like there's, there's nothing about like every time a new program comes out, you know, we always talk about it and say why it's so, so amazing and why you need this and why you should do it. And every single program has its specific goal, you know, end goal in mind, like quarter force, one of my personal favorites, uh, 30 day shredding program. When Jericho and I wrote it, we designed it that way where you were doing something every single day for 30 days. It works great but you have for optimal results, you have to follow that, right? Not really flexible. And it's not really sustainable as well, long-term. So with Lift 4, I really wanted to bring something new to the table, um, also based on what I've seen in my 15 plus years in the industries, uh, in the health and fitness industry. And one of the things that I think that we have been missing is a realistically flexible program that still doesn't sacrifice results. And that's a challenge. It's a hard thing to do, uh, depending on you know, depending on the program itself. And I was like, look, this is from a weightlifting perspective, from a uh, a basic cardio perspective, and basic nutrition perspective, which is why I went back to basics with all of this. That I feel this is the ultimate way to give you the most flexibility and still see amazing results. And we tested it. We tested it nonstop, and it just continues to to amaze everybody with the results because. It's, it's the programming itself, but look, what you have to think about every program, like, you know, 
Monday comes around, uh, say you're doing a program, it's you know five or six days or even seven days a week. Monday comes around and you're, you miss your workout because look, life happens, life changes, right? You miss your workout and now all of a sudden you feel like you gotta do two on Tuesday. And then maybe you're sick and you didn't get to work out for two days in a row, now you're two workouts behind. And then it, it creeps into, it's not just from a mental standpoint, but this physical thing, because now you're going to like try to kill yourself catching up and doing doubles. And you guys, doubles, it's just, you got to stay away from double workouts. It just is not doing you any good. If anything, it's overtraining your body. It's actually preventing you from getting the results that you're trying to go for. So with Lift 4, I really want to bring something in that will still give you amazing results. Four days a week, you can move the days however you need to. If you miss Monday and Tuesday, you're not behind. You just start on Wednesday. It's really that easy because you have seven days to get four in. That's pretty flexible. Um, and with that, no matter how you move these days around, you're still doing the same workouts and the same program, so your results are still going to be just as good. So I think flexibility is just is, is massive, and I think that's what is going to make this program so unique, uh, or it does make it unique, but I think it's what's going to really – reach out to people and resonate with them. I think we're going to be able to reach more people with this because of the, their jobs, their, their work schedules, their children and, and games and soccer practice and everything. It just works so well. And it's actually the first program that I feel you can mold around your life as you need to. Yeah. That's what I love about it so much. That flexibility. Just, I have the two kids at home too. And it's just absolutely insane. You know, so it's nice to be able to have that flexibility like that. Yeah, I, um, I have two cats, and I totally know it's the exact same thing, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you get it. You know, you're busy. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't get any sleep at night, right? Because they're crawling all Oh, my God, they keep me up all night long, purring so loud. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Like that. Yeah, and they need to go out or something, get to change the litter box. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the exact same thing as having kids, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> exactly the same thing. You'll be all good to go. Um <laughs> So excuse me if this has already been covered in the coach test group. I have not been accepted in yet. So when you get off, later, oh. you can add me in. But um, <laughs> if, I was in, if, I, if I was in charge of that, I would just I like, cause it's, it's funny, actually, I'll tell you a total side note. Um, cause I'm like an admin of that group because I'm, I'm running it. Right. So every time I go in there, I see like the pending number and, uh, and I know it's, you know, because people have to go like, the, the, it's happening at corporate because they have to go through and they have to match up your coach ID to your sales uh, aspect of it. So it takes a little bit of time. Okay. Every time I go in there, like, I'm so tempted to go, oops, and just like, approve everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I don't know how that happened, but I know I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Maybe you could do a slip of the finger tonight. Whoops. You know, it's it's oh, out. sorry. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> No, they're gonna they're gonna get it done. Uh, they're getting I, like they're they're busting their butts on because I asked them. I was like, you guys, because at one point they they cleared it out, but you know I think we're up to like over a thousand people again. So I was like, come on, like that's exciting. That's really yeah, exciting. That's great, it's very exciting. So in terms of the workouts, right, as it progresses during the program, do you, I know they're all different, right? And do they get harder as you go? No. So the 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 workouts themselves. Um, Actually, no one's asked this, which is interesting. Every, everyone's more concerned about the rest days. Uh, oh. that we, we can talk about in a second. Uh, so no one's actually, it's so funny. Like, nobody's asked me about the workouts, which is kind of funny. Everyone's like, what do I do on the rest days? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about that in a second. You guys, you know, everyone needs to just relax about that. Uh, the workouts themselves, so thank you for giving me something new to talk about. The workouts themselves, uh, I, was really excited, I was really excited about this because we were able to, like, when we did Court of Force, we were um, tied to a lot of things that we had never, you know, Jericho and I, that was our first time designing a program, you know, a home program from scratch. And we had, we were literally, we were really limited in a lot of ways. Um, like DVD space was one of them. And, you know, we had to keep so many workouts and so little time and blah, blah, blah to keep the price point low. It was just a bunch of stuff we never even thought about. So coming into this, because it's digital now, like, the opportunity to do so much more was really exciting. So what I, what I did with it is I designed uh, 32 workouts, original workouts. So every single workout, it's not the same workout that we film on a different day. It's actually a different workout every single time. So for instance, uh, chest and triceps, which is Monday's workout, you'll do for six weeks. You're going to do Monday, chest and triceps every single Monday. So I, I create some familiarity with the workout in terms of like, okay, you know, Monday, uh, for the first six weeks is going to be chest and triceps. Um, and then I changed and, and we have some similar structures and the moves will stay the same in terms of like, you know, you're always going to do a chest press somewhere in there, but then that, but then I changed the sequencing and we changed the structure up 
and then and also adding different moves into the hit elements. So it keeps some nice variety uh, so you don't get bored and then also allows you, once this is over, to go back and have six different chest and tricep workouts to choose from. So you can kind of choose your favorites, uh, which is cool. And then um, the last two weeks, I up the intensity just a little bit in terms of making, I just add like one component uh, in, in particular instances just to make the workouts a little longer. They're still under 40 minutes. There's no workout that's over 40 minutes. Um, and the reason we did that is because that's why you guys might see, you know, some, some of the printed materials where it says first six weeks are build weeks and the last two weeks are shred weeks. Shred weeks, we don't change your diet or anything like that. It just simply means, okay, we spent six weeks uh, building muscle. So now the muscle, the new muscle that you built, we're just increasing the intensity to make it work harder, which will actually burn more calories throughout the day. So that's all it is. Um, yeah. So the programming itself. So no, basically the cool, so the cool thing is at the end of this, at the end of the eight weeks, you have 32 different workouts to choose from. And just, you can pick and choose your favorites and move them. Uh, the last two weeks, I combined chest and back together. So then you have a chest, you know, two chest and back exercise, uh, workouts to choose from. You can do a shoulders and arms. You can do a legs. You can do a full body hit if you're short on time. Like it just, again, bringing you a lot of flexibility into this. That's great. Love it. So do you need to do, I know you just mentioned like the rest. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Hit yeah. me with <laughs> this is because even my husband said the same thing. He's like, so it's four days a week. Like, do you need to do anything else on any of those other days? Or can you re like, really just stick to the program four days a week and still get those awesome results? Yeah, look, uh, <laughs> from a common sense standpoint, you know, we're not going to come out with a program that, okay, do this program, but you have to go do these other things too on the side. Like that doesn't do anybody good, right? From the programming perspective, if you only do these four workouts a week and you follow the nutrition plan and stay on the six and one mentality and just cut the crap for six days and eat clean one and, and have your treat day on one day, yeah, you're gonna see amazing results because that's how we tested it actually. Where we told the we told the original two test groups when I was writing the program at the office here and, and we brought people into the office and chat and, uh, and doing it, um, they weren't allowed to do anything else. They were able to go for like a walk or do yoga to stretch to stay loose. But that was it. They weren't allowed to do any other stuff because I wanted to test that specific thing right there. Because um, And that's an extreme side of it, right? Most people, but because we know that most people aren't just going to sit on their butts all day uh, for it. But some people might have to because if they're sitting in an office all day or something like that. So that's why I wanted to test it that way. With that said, and the reason it works so well, guys, just so you know, is the fact of during these four days, these workouts that you're doing, because you guys, by the way, have just remember, you haven't done a full lift four workout yet. Like, who's done the B4 workouts? Raise your hand. Who was sore after some of the B4 workouts? Raise your hand. Okay. So now just imagine 30 to 40 minutes of that. Same intensity, same pacing, lifting longer, heavier weights. You're going to, you got to let your body rest. That, that's just the point. Like, like, that's why one of the taglines for this program is the rest is in the recovery, where look, we're spending these four, these four workouts blasting your body, breaking down your muscles, uh, you know, exhausting the glycogen stores and, and just taking everything out of you. That's the whole point. At the end of these workouts, you should be done. Like there should not even be a thought in your head about doing anything else working out wise that day. If there is, you just didn't push yourself hard enough. And then we're going to give your body the time that it actually needs to rest and your muscles to recover. And that's how you build muscle guys is you actually give it time to grow back. And, and build and come back stronger. So that's the point of the rest days for one. And the second idea behind it is to give you flexibility, give you the opportunity to do the things that you love to do, activities, right? The whole You can do whatever you want, swim, bike, run. You can totally do all that stuff. The only thing that you need to stay away from on the rest days are weightlifting, any sort of weighted workouts, or uh, high-intensity workouts, right? So, like, sorry, you, know, so you can't. And you, I, I promise you, if you push yourself next week, it's going to become really clear really fast. Like after two of these workouts, you guys, like the thought of doing a high intensity workout after that should not even be in your brain because you can't lift your arms above your head. That's a good day right there. That's awesome. I can't wait. I hope that doesn't scare anybody away. It's a good thing. Everyone's like, whoa, okay. <laughs> Dry shampoo. It's good. It works. Just, yeah. yeah, totally. Trust me. It's my best friend. Uh, that's why I have my hat on today. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> okay, we have some questions down here too. I am getting ready to go on vacation and don't know if, oh shoot, it just went down here. 
No, I got it. Um, yeah, Katie, going on vacation, and you don't know if you'll have weights, so any suggestions to still make this work with the band? Yeah, so look, there's a specific uh, split screen called the Bandifier. So we, uh, so when we talked about this at the beginning of the inception of the program, again, ultimate flexibility, right? Wanted to make this available for everybody. So there is a resistance band option uh, for any of the weighted, excuse me, any of the weighted exercises. And uh, in any of the workouts starting on Monday, there's a split screen option. Like in court, excuse me, in court of force, we did the, uh, the, court, uh, the modifier split screen option, right? Where we had the modifier on one side and, and us doing it on the other side. And lift four, we have a split screen bandifier because the majority of the program is lifting. So you'll see a person split screen, dedicated screen doing the resistance bands option. So yeah, that's, that's great. And that was the whole idea. So I wanted this program to be able to travel with people as well. If you don't have the option to use dumbbells. So that's great. Um, Kristen, lots of challengers are asking what size weights they should have for this program. What would I suggest? Um, easy for, for ladies from a starting perspective, I say you need at least between five and twenties. You're going to need some heavier dumbbells up to 20s to start. Uh, and then guys, probably between 10 and 30s to start. Depends on their fitness level, you know, 40s maybe. But um, those 20s are going to get light really quickly, y'all. I promise you. You're going to be lifting some heavier weights than you've ever lifted before. It's super exciting. I can't wait. Uh, let me see. Uh, Whitney, do I believe challengers can get equal results with just the bands that are sent with the program? Um no. So I, I stay away from, I always stay away from like just as good as or same as because um, we didn't test the program with just resistance bands. I didn't design it for just the resistance bands. Um, yes, like bands bring a different, a different level because it's also, uh, it's a whole, it just brings a whole new facet to it because it's not only, yes, you're still doing resistance, but it's constant tension. Uh, and so it, it changes up the way you're, you're training. So it's not meant to do a long term, um, but I, I think, but it's, it's an option out there. So if you do the resistance bands only and you still follow a nutrition plan, absolutely you'll see results. Are they the same results as what we've been testing and, and you know, the before and afters? I have to say no to that because we haven't tested that. But like if you move and you eat right, you'll lose weight. So like it's that it is that simple uh, from that standpoint. Um, Katie says, woohoo. All right. I like that. Uh, Jenna says, let's see, Jenna, how many pounds should we be increasing each weight every or how many pounds should we be increasing each week? There's no set number, Jenna. Um, that's why you have the, uh, the weight tracker sheet that I designed. It's just a one page weight tracker sheet, super easy. You're gonna write your weight down starting in week one. Uh, I'm gonna tell you as you progress through the workouts when to try to challenge yourself and how you should be feeling and how you know when you should up your weights in terms of perceived exertion and how you should be feeling. Um, and that's how you should know. Uh, or that's, that's when you'll be able to get those opportunities to do it. But again, if you finish one, any of these workouts, guys, and, you're, and if you ever say that wasn't so bad, you know the answer. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. That's good, though. Um, all right. So tell us a little bit more about, uh, like, the cheat days, you know, all about the cheat days, uh, and the rest days, those kind of things. Yeah. Um, well, I think, I think we got the rest days figured out, right? Uh, so – the nutrition aspect of it with the cheat day. Uh, the nutrition is very, very basic, guys. Um, the, actually, the nutrition plan is not any different than most of the beach body nutrition plans, beach body program nutrition plans, minus the ones where we mess with, you know, where they mess with the macros, like quarter force, we, you know, tweak your carbs and stuff like that. Basic nutrition is, in terms of macronutrients is 30% protein, 40% carbs, 30% fats. That's just basic nutrition. And this is all in the Live for nutrition plan, guys. It's in your digital booklet right now. So if you don't know, if you don't know where to find it, it's in there. Um, that's all. That's all this plan is. What we're doing though is we're getting you into actually eating the way you need to in terms of fueling your body. So we're really I, I, I'm not a fan of uh, of massive caloric deficits especially to build muscle, you're not going to build muscle in a massive caloric deficit. And then I'm not a fan of deprivation, uh, diet deprivation. I just don't believe in it because I've just watched too many people. And actually I've watched too many people go off the rails. We all see that, right? Where they, they go, you know, for 30 days and they do really well. Then they go off the, the deep end when it's over. Plus 
I don't do it. <laughs> like, I'm not going to practice that. That sounds horrible. Um, I like my cheeseburgers and beer and margaritas and all the junk food. I like all of it. So um, I just believe in six and one. I think six and one is the way to do it. Um, that, you know, the whole 80 20 rule, I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know how to figure out 80% of my diet. It's just too much works. But I know how to do six and one, six days on, one day off. Uh, that's a lot easier to do it. So that's all it is. Basic calories in. The macros are already measured out for you. It's a container-friendly program. If you want to use the containers, if you want to use 2B Mindset, you can pull those principles into it. But we're going off of calories, guys. So uh, in the coach test group, I'm getting a lot of questions like, well, what color is this? I'm like, I have no clue. Like, none what color anything equates to or like how many containers this equals. I'm like, I don't know. So, cause I go off a of basic, I go off of total calories. Um, and then with the cheat day, it's, it, it's designed to have like this mental release is just as much of like, of giving you what you actually want, but it's like a mental thing too, because you guys have all probably gone through this at a certain point where like, if you go so long without having something that sometimes when you have it, it wasn't as good as you remember or, you know, kind of messes with your body. So like there's that, but so the whole thing about the cheat days doesn't mean you have to have it. Some people might not, but it's just knowing that it's there, that you can loosen the reins. So if you go out and you have date night or like whatever it is, you can have it. Right. And, uh, Angela just said, uh, being pregnant, you have cravings. All right. So, I don't think you can hold a craving for six days until cheat day, but if you can, good for you. Um, but if you're housing another individual in your body, I think you should give yourself a break and have that ice cream with pickles or whatever the hell you have of your craving. Okay, so give your body the break, seriously. Um, but yeah, seriously, it just it's it's just it's it's a mental release, and it, we call it the cheat day. It doesn't mean like oh yeah, I can have you know crap for breakfast all the way through dinner late night snack of like let's be on like let's be smart about this it's moderation but it does give you the opportunity to go have mimosas if you want to or go out to dinner with your friends like that's the whole point of that and then you come out of it like refresh you're like cool okay i feel good i'm ready to get back into it and you also then that's why also uh and the test group you know want people to try to do it on a sunday if possible or at least a rest day before you work out because now you have the extra calories in your body, extra energy to, to expel uh, in your workout. So it really is, it's that simple, uh, but it's just a nice mental release too. Yeah, I like that. Very realistic. I'm, so, all about, I'm all about realism on this. Yeah, because you want to be able to stick with it and enjoy it, you know, and still live your life and get awesome results and not feel like you're on like a diet or anything like that. So I yeah, I don't that. diet. Uh, I just don't. And and here's the thing too is the, again with the, the whole point of all this in terms of flexibility, we've established that. But you guys, at the end of the eight weeks, you don't have to change a thing. Like that's what I love about this so much is you don't have to change your nutrition. You don't have to change anything about the nutrition. Everybody should be doing resistance training at least four days a week, regardless. That's long term. I mean, that's why even like in the quarter force hybrid calendar, we put lifting back into it, right? We put lifting workouts back into it. Everybody needs to weight lift, weight train as some sort of resistance training at least four days a week. So that's why I wrote it this way is to keep it as sustainable as possible. So it's like, because we always get that question too, is at the end of this, what do I do? How do I maintain it? You don't have to change a thing. Just keep going. And now you have all your workouts that you can choose from too. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. All right, one last question before we let you go. Yes. Because um, the time is flying. But yeah. which supplements would you recommend for everybody to take along with this for them to see the best results? Yeah, supplements uh, from the Beachbody Performance standpoint, I love I love all of them. I take all of them. We, we My wife and I, we use all of them on the workout days. Uh, and we don't have time to talk about, obviously, all the, all the, all the options of them. But I think they're all great. Um, but the one in terms that I think you have to have is recover. I really do. It's, it's giving your body the protein that it needs right after your workout is going to do so much for your recovery. That's why it's called recover. Uh, but then it also has uh, pomegranate extract in it, which helps reduce muscle soreness, which is kind of nice as well. Uh, so it just, that to me, that's my like non-negotiable. I think you got to have it no matter what. Uh, I know that, you know, some people uh, are vegan and, or can't do whey. Uh, Shakeology Vegan is a suitable replacement for that. You don't get the pomegranate extract, but you, at least you get that that shot of protein that you need. So uh, that's my one thing. But like I said, from energize to hydrate to recover with creatine and recharge, I love them all. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
And we're going to talk a lot more about all that in the coach test group, by the way. Just say. Can't wait. I can't wait to get accepted in. <laughs> I know, me too. I can't either. So seriously, you guys, I hope uh, if, if you're not in the coach test group, I hope you are. I hope if you haven't purchased the VIP early access, um, I hope you guys see the benefit of this as, as a coach. This is a phenomenal training tool for you. This is not a, uh, this was not a conspiracy from Beachbody to get 40 more dollars from every coach. Okay. This is a training plat. Like this is, think about it this way. We have never had, you guys have never had the opportunity to actually do the whole program from start to finish in its entirety before you launch it. Now you do. We don't launch this program until October 1st. Now you have the opportunity to do this program firsthand, get the results, and you are the walking, talking billboard for your team and all the people who you're talking to versus showing other people's pictures. And then on top of all that, you get, you get stuck with me, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, for eight weeks, and we're going to talk all about all this stuff. I'm gonna, we're going to do a lot more coach uh, business training. Uh, I'm going to bring a lot of stuff in how I used to train employees in the fitness world and how, how to create value in fitness products and how to talk to people and listen and understand them. I'm going to bring all that stuff in. Like, so if you guys make the commitment to get in the coach test group, I'm going to give you the commitment for the next eight weeks to give you everything I can and train you because I can't go out and reach as many people as you can. My job is to train you guys. So I'm going to train you. So by the end that we go through the eight weeks at the end of, uh, end of uh, or excuse me, beginning of September. And then we have a month to just blow this sucker up and go into the fall. And, and it, so I hope you guys see that it's amazing business uh, training opportunity for you. It's going to be awesome. Well, thank you so much, Joel. And congratulations. We were so pumped to have you. And before you hop off, girls, yes. I know you probably want to take a picture, right? Who wants to take a picture? So just Joel, like strike a pose. <laughs> Everybody get your cameras out. <laughs> And do something happy. Yeah, Metallica shirt on, so I guess. So like. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. Smile. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Joel. And congratulations again. We are fired up for Monday. Thank you. Have good luck with your calls. All right. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow in the Coach Test Group. All right. See you guys right. later. Bye, guys. Bye.